I'm going to make a video today on how to unclog a slow draining bathtub. Now hopefully you can see this as I hit the stopper this bathtub is draining very slowly. Now it was actually draining even slower than that but I took off the drain plug here and started to clean some of the corruption that was underneath it and then I decided I really should make a video about this and what I'm going to do is step through a couple of procedures to go through uh, basically from the quickest and easiest to the more involved process of the different steps I would try to unclog a drain pipe depending on how bad it is plugged up. So I have here some of the tools that you may need depending on how badly your bathtub is clogged. I've got a piece of coat hanger that I put a little hook on the end of it. A screwdriver. I got a set of vice grips there but that's kind of uh, overkill or a little set of pliers something just to unscrew the bathtub plug with. A snake this is a device that uh, we're only going to use if the bathtub is really badly clogged. None of these are really expensive and this is a really big snake. Um, this is overkill for this type of job but I thought I'd lay it out to show you. None of these are particularly expensive. The snake is probably the most expensive. It's just, uh, as you can see, has a bit of twisted metal on the end of it which goes down the drain pipe and we'll show how to use that later. I think this was uh, that was in the range of twenty to twenty-five dollars here in Canada. Anyway, there's a good possibility that the only one you're really going to need, unless it's really badly clogged, is the piece of coat hanger that uh, you can put a little bend on the end of. Did I mention rubber gloves? You're definitely going to want those for this job because things can get nasty. So the first thing we want to do is unscrew the drain plug. Now that's going to unscrew the same direction as anything else as you release it counterclockwise and if this was an older good quality tub from the years when they made things strong I actually might need something like this a set of ice grips. So you'd open it up really wide and very gently, I'm not even going to do this because this is a new tub here and most of these parts are going to be made of cheap old plastic but if it was stuck and not releasing I would carefully take it and turn this counterclockwise to release it I know that I don't have to because I already went on this before and released it so turning it up I'm going to just as I say turning the plug counterclockwise and it loosened off really easy before too so we've got that out now that gives us better access to the drain then we're going to want to use our high tech tool I mentioned earlier the piece of coat hanger and basically I'm going to start picking the crud out of this pipe and I guess there's probably no real need in keeping the camera rolling as I do this because it's going to be nasty and you're going to get the idea basically anyway I use the hooked end or I'll use the straight end as I go and just remove all sorts of the stuff that you're going to see down there in that pipe. And I'll stop the camera at around that point. As I mentioned earlier, it's a good possibility that the only tool you're really going to need for this process is the bent piece of clothes hanger. So I have removed everything I could 
as I say, luckily I stopped the video because it was pretty nasty what come out of there, but anyway, that's beside the point. Now, I've got a bunch of water in it. And that is draining a lot faster. But, for the purposes of our video, which is going to go through a different scenarios to do if it's plugged worse than that, the next thing I'll always do is use another high-tech tool I didn't mention earlier, the plunger. So what I'll do is take the plunger. I like to put a lot of water in the tub because if you're using the plunger and you can't make the plunger submersible like that and get, get it mostly filled with water, really what you're doing is just forcing air down the pipe. It'll cause compression and force stuff out too, but I, I like to get the I get the like to get the, the plunger as full of water as I can and then plunge it out. So to do that, I release the plug, unscrew it like we did before, take the plunger with a bunch of water in it, and then and I can actually feel the pressure of that water as I plunge that out. So you might want to keep doing that. So that would be the next step I would try without getting too tactical. Now as a possibility I might get some backlash on this because people might say well if you use the plunger you may just clog the pipe further along. And I've heard people say that. I've had a lot of luck on clogging bathtubs and sinks and everything else with plungers like that because the reality of it is if it's clogged it's clogged you're just going to move the uh, the corruption further down the pipe but I'm going to show in a second how those pipes actually fit together so the reason that I specifically wanted to do this video on this particular tub is because this bathroom is under renovations it gives me a real good opportunity to show how these plumbing fittings come together here. This is the drain plug, or the drain, underneath the drain plug in the tub. So the other side of this pipe is the drain plug that we were removing before. So you're going to have a drain come out from your tub. There's going to be a trap somewhere, <coughs> just like this. Another way if we really ended up with a severely clogged bathtub would be to remove this right here. This pipe goes down and there's going to be water sitting in it. And so you'd want to have a bucket or something underneath there and we could unplug it from here. Now the reality of it is most bathtubs are not going to be this easy to access the, the plumbing fittings. But anyway, water comes out from here under the tub, through the drain pipe in some form or another similar to this, and then out that smaller drain pipe into a really big sewage pipe. And that's why I was saying that if you are having issues with a, a really badly clogged drain uh, and you're plunging it, as long as the corruption and debris in it can get through this pipe, <coughs> get to that main big sewer pipe, then uh, it's definitely going to clear up. So, I just wanted to show that for the purposes of this video. That's uh, the general type of design that will happen for pretty much any bathtub. So, at this point, if your bathtub is still clogged, you tried the removal of the corruption with the clothes hanger or whatever tool that you would use there, uh, you tried plunging it, it's still not draining, we're getting into some fairly serious stuff. So you might want to, if you're not really all that comfortable with do-it-yourself handyman type stuff, you might want to start possibly thinking about 
calling a plumber at this point. But, if not, if you want to continue on, most tubs will have this type of a system where there is a fitting here which is screwed into that drain pipe that I showed you down below when I went to the back of the tub. So I find these little cheap two dollar pair of dollar store pliers great for getting these out. <clears throat> what I'll do is I'll put it in to the drain and just kind of gently place them. Try to turn it a bit. If it's if it's caught where you want it to be, each end of those pliers will actually start to turn this strain. Now as I say, you're going to want to be careful about this. I've already loosened it off, but I just started applying pressure counterclockwise direction. If it wasn't going to release, I would have stopped because you really don't want to break this down below. Then you're, then you're definitely calling the plumber, or if you're handy obviously you can fix it. But I went and I just gently started applying pressure and sure enough this released and I can turn this out from that pipe that I showed earlier in the video. So if you're at this point you're also going to want to get a little container of plumber's pipe because when we put this back in there's going to be plumber's putty underneath here to keep a seal. There's the old putty right there. So now we have easy access to our drain pipe to get a snake in there. And incidentally, you can clean off the bottom of this plug too because maybe there was a bunch of stuff you couldn't get out uh, earlier. So, I'm changing my vantage point a little bit here so hopefully you can see this. We're going to try the snake. Now, the idea of a snake is you put the metal coil end down the pipe and, unfortunately I'm not going to be able to show this as I tape, but I'm turning the handle above and you'll be able to see that coiled metal end turning into the pipe and disappearing in there. So that's going in and if there is anything seriously clogging this pipe, the snake, as I turn the handle up, up above and I'm turning it clockwise and feeding it down, that is going to grab onto any corruption in that drain pipe. Now, bear in mind as you're doing this, depending on how this tub is configured, we have released the top screw, this part. So that pipe down below don't be too aggressive with this because the pipe down here is now not connected to this to keep it stable. But anyways, I'm holding the this part of the snake and see if I can get this on here and I'm turning the handle up here and that metal piece is working its way down the pipe, I'll go a little ways, then I'll take the snake out. Oh, see, if you can see that? Oh, I'm all over the place here. Down there, turn it the other direction, and start to, not too aggressively, apply pressure and pulling that out gently, and that should get any corruption within that pipe. So there's a couple of different methods you can try to unclog your bathtub. Now I'm going to clean this old plumber's putty off. I'm going to put some plumber's putty here, not too much. I'm going to screw this back into place and the new plumber's putty will then come out and then I'll just clean off whatever is there whatever excess is there 
And I suppose I might as well show the last part of what I'm going to do here. There's the plumber's putty. I'll take a ball of it and I roll it together. Get a length of it like that. And take a piece there and just start fitting it around something along those lines. And I'll continue, I'll uh, keep going with the putty, building a little ridge of it around the edge like that before I thread it back into the so I have my ridge of plumber's putty I take this thread it back in incidentally you might have to move that pipe around a little bit depending on what happened when we were snaking in it so I'm just gonna move it out so that the whole edge of the pipe is showing there take that piece, start threading it back in, take my fancy set of pliers. Incidentally, there's uh, two settings on these and I find that uh, one of them fits really nicely in. If you expand it out, not so much. So Anyway, you'll, you'll find out if you uh, decide to use these as the tool of choice for doing this. In there. Oh, I got the wrong setting. Anyway, let's put those in. Thread it back in there. And you can see as it gets tightened up that the excess plumber's putty is coming out here. So we'll just clean that up later. And you want that tight enough to seal, obviously. But you don't want to get too aggressive with that either. Remember, it's just a, a plastic ABS, generally pl uh, an ABS type pipe or whatever underneath there. It doesn't take a whole lot of force to put that in tight enough to seal, get a good seal there. So I'll get rid of that plumber's putty. Put our plug back in. Thread that down. And give it our final test in a second here. So everything is back together. I got some water back in the tub. Let it drain. It's draining nice and fast. And we're going to do something here that we have the luxury of doing simply because, as I said, this tub is under renovations here. Is going and checking for leaks by the drain pipe from the plug and I've put some newspaper in there as you can see because I'll always use newspaper after any time I'm working around any, any uh, plumbing because it'll show up any water leaks really quickly and as we can see there are no leaks there so use your own discretion go as far as you are comfortable with this process uh, hopefully it'll help